All right, guys, I got a couple of these nice thin lily um, slice ribeye. I mean, not ribeye. Uh, New York strips. Got them at Walmart. It's their Angus Prime USDA choice. No, it's not Prime. I have some Prime. That's going to be in another video. But what I'm going to do first is go ahead and oop, get this laid out, get it nice and covered. And these are going to make some really nice sandwiches. Now, I did this a little bit earlier. Uh, I had this for breakfast. I made a sandwich. And I said, oh man, this tastes so good. I got to share this with uh, everybody else. So I'm making it again. <laughs> but last time I didn't um, taste the seasoning by itself. So this time around, I'm going to taste the seasoning by itself on one of these, maybe the smaller one. And then the other one, I'm going to show you how to make that steak. All right, and let that chill out for a little while. And then we're going to go out and to the grill and grill these up. All right, guys, here we go. I got my beef right there is ready. I'm going to go ahead and get these two on the grill. Go ahead and get that. Let's go over here. Oop, can't see nothing. There we go. Can you see now? <laughs> All right, so bring that one right there. And that one right there. Oh. Got that going. And it's not even going to take that long. I'm going to have uh, some butter melting right here. Grab those eggs. Ooh, yeah. All right. Let's do this. Got my spatula, so I gotta go in the house and go get it. All right, and I'm also shoot. Put this bread on here. Got some butter. Put it back there. Toast that butter. Just turn that down. almost done. A couple of fried eggs. Let me see if I can do this. Ah. Oh. Turn that off. Eggs are done. And I'm going to transfer the eggs to this cutting board. Actually, let me get that. Because I don't want it to overcook. Let's do it right here. Move this out of the way a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get that. Alright, I think I'm actually going to, oh man, I don't know, I might go ahead and toast, oops, the light back here. There we go, guys. So we got that, we got that. I think I'm going to do this, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just going to cook the whole toast over the flames too toast it like that. I'm not going to put it in a skillet, but these cook really fast. So can we 
we can try that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. This, it only been like a couple minutes. But I am done with that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and start fixing this. I still got this butter. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And then I'm going to grab my, my cheese. I got a couple slices of cheese right here. Put one right there. Oops. Right there. All right. Yeah. Let's keep looking at that. <laughs> Get my egg on there. Turn that down. Keep looking at the grill. Keep looking at the grill. Get my other egg on there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that, buddy. Got that. Turn that off. That's going on top. Oh yeah. Bun. Oh, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> okay, let me get the other cheese. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Get this paper stuff off. the bread and oh yeah okay all right guys I am done with the cook there we have it you got their steak with the thundering longhorn brisket and burger rub there's the sandwich oh I can't wait to take tear into that you got the potatoes let's go for the potatoes mm-hmm Mmm, not bad. I was thinking it would be a little sweeter because you know it says honey, but no, you don't really taste the honey, any sweetness. Mm. But it's okay, not bad. Would I recommend this one? Hmm, well guys, I think you can make your own, even better. The thing about buying pre-made um, seasonings, you gotta go through a lot to find out what you like and what you don't like. But this one, yeah, you know, would I personally buy it again? Probably not, because I probably can make some a little better. The Thunder Longhorn, got my steak by itself. Mmm, yeah. That's pretty good. I probably went a little too heavy for these thin steaks. But I think it's just, you know, I, I taste a lot of the salt, of course. I don't taste any heat, any spice. Let me try another one. You know, even I did go heavy on it. You should be able to taste it. I can see it. But, hmm. Definitely, you know, I don't really taste any of the spice or anything. It just tastes like salt, really. So, Thundering Longhorn, it's all right, you know. Personally, I probably, I wouldn't buy it again. But like I said with the other one, um, you might be, you know, if you're in a hurry and it's decent. Oh, you know, on that potato, I think I did taste a little bit of sweet. Hmm. Okay. Let's move this out the way. I know everybody wants to see this. 
what's in here look at that oh oh can you hear it i know i got the microphone facing me let's cut this baby in half let me just cut it right here cut cut through that egg oh you see would i get a runny egg or no uh Ah, no runny egg. I was hoping, but anyway, let's try it out. Mmm, 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 wow. mm, that's good. I'm glad I went a little heavy on the seasoning because it balanced everything out because I didn't put any other seasoning salt or anything on this it's just the cheese the um the beef egg it's good yeah hey learn something else by itself you don't want to go heavy but if you're pairing it with other stuff definitely you want to put a little bit more so little flavors can get into the rest of the food Mmm. I don't know. Everything tastes pretty good, though. All right. Just salt, pepper, garlic. That's good enough for your beef. Tastes, it'll taste fantastic. You don't really need to buy all this stuff. And most people have salt, pepper, garlic in their cupboard, so. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining in for this kind of short video with this delicious food right here. Mm. I'm going to enjoy this and keep on eating. All right. Until next time, take care.